that vi that video you just finished watching is a is a video of a South Sudan president peeing on himself on live television. The cameraman who picked up uh, the video and posted it is now dead. Anyway, before we go into that, if you don't know um, the country, South Sudan is located in the eastern part of Africa and it shares border with um, Ethiopia, Kenya, Congo, South Sudan itself. By the way, South Sudan um, got their independence way back in 2011, 9th of July 2011 specifically from Sudan and immediately after they got their independence from Sudan, in fact they are the youngest country in the whole world right now. When they got their independence from Sudan, you know, like the way Biafrans are clamoring that they want to be separated from Nigeria, it was just like minor like set of people, I feel those that fought for their independence, that benefited from it, those people, you know, got rich by that, while poverty and deprivation prevailed in South Sudan. That is why if you see any news of South Sudan on Al Jazeera, or on the world news, it will be of poverty because they started suffering. It was even worse than when they were with South Sudan. So that was when, you know, the civil war happened and everything. This present man you saw in that video peeing on himself was the man that took over way back in 9th of July 2011. And the plan was he was going to rule for me probably two years, you know, and, and allow the country transition back into... And democratic role by conducting an election. Hmm. But I say to you today that since 2011, that this particular man took over, there have never been an election. Recently, he signed an, ag uh, an agreement stating that the election will be postponed again. Whenever you know they're supposed to hold an election, it's going to like postpone, and that is how it's always been. It's always been postponing the election and this man is of 70 years old if you ask me i don't know what a 70 year old man you know is still doing doing ruling the whole country whereas he's supposed to be retired somewhere you know he's supposed to be retired just as the way that we've been clamoring that people should make the right decision concerning you know ahmed tinubu ruling the country right now this man is now a national disgrace a national embarrassment to his country as a whole. I'm telling you guys, Nigerians, if you don't make the right decision, come February 2023, this is the exact thing we are going to be talking about then. This is what exactly is going to happen to Nigerians and Nigeria. You know, if we don't make the right decision, come that time. Before we go ahead with the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell as well so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Give this video a massive thumbs up as well. Leave your comments in the comment section. That is where, you know, we, we exchange opinions and ideas. That is where we can make our own contributions on this channel. So please subscribe. Without further ado, let's delve into the details of today's news. New sources coming in indicate that the journalist who was on the camera and captured the embarrassing moment in which Salva Kerr, the South Sudan president, wetted his pants, has been reportedly found dead. It should be recalled that social media globally was thrown into shock this week. This is after a video of President Salva Kerr showed him involuntarily wetting his trousers. The incident happened at an inspection of a guard of honor. While the national anthem was being sung, Kerr looked down at his trousers in shock, only to see a stream of urine flow down. Everyone at the ceremony frowned upon this incident and social media started buzzing right away. According to a tweet from former EALA and ex-NBS presenter, Buyana Julius, the journalist who shared this video is now dead. A reportedly committed suicide as his body was found hanging in his residence. The journalist who shared 
the video of President Salva Kaur wetting his pants on a national event allegedly committed suicide. His body was found hanging at his residence. Hmm. It's not only this journalist that has apparently gone into problems. Others too who covered this function are going missing one by one. Hmm. Others have been found dead, as of course one would have expected. All journalists that covered the event were the South Sudan government, where the South Sudan government's president, Salva Kawe, said his pants are missing one by one, and some found dead. Journalism is not a crime. It is not a... Hmm. It's not yet clear if the state has a hand in this, but obviously no one would exonerate it. However, many think it's the one responsible. Meanwhile, Savaka is thought by many to be suffering from old age diseases such as BHP or diabetes. Others have blamed his overstay in power as the reason for this because his body is probably fatigued. Hmm. What do you expect when a 70-year-old man who is supposed to be retired and at home, you know, resting, is still ruling a whole country? Eh? <laughs> anyway, some people are saying that uh, this is as a result of a uh, urinary tract infection, while on the other hand, some are saying that he, he is too patriotic and he didn't want to excuse himself while the anthem is ongoing. I don't even want to know whichever one it is at this point. But what do you all think, guys? Do you think this is a coincidence that the journalist that uh, recorded or reported this news is now found dead? He committed suicide. Hmm. If you ask me, guys, I don't think this is... I don't think this is a coincidence at all. Like, it can never be coincidence. Okay, let's just stay, say that, okay, maybe he, he was found hanging in his room. Okay, that might be a coincidence. Maybe, obviously, he committed suicide. Like, it apparently, you know, is. What about the other people that cover the event? Why are they going missing one by one? Anyway, this is this is a food, a food for thought for all of us. Like, let me know what you all think in the comment section. Like, we're in a de democratic, you know, era now where, you know, people shouldn't, people shouldn't be killed just because they are doing their job. That is why in this next election, you people need to be very vigilant and make sure that you vote for the right person. Because right now, Tinubu, everybody's saying is not fit for, for, for the job, is unfit, is this, is that. And on the other hand, some of his campaign team are asking for the one of a news reporter in Arise Television for him to be sacked just because he exposed the truth. If you think that the story is not is not true, why not debunk it? Why not organize a press conference and explain yourself instead of asking for, for Arise Television to sack him? This is just it's just too bad. I hope that we don't we don't we don't have a reoccurrence of what happened in South Sudan in Nigeria come 2023. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.